Hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet Classic, and we are here at Makumaki Lake. We've been here for quite a while trying to complete this one stinking mission. <laughs> this one mission has been going on in the background for a long, long time, and that is the Makumaku Fish Tooth Hook mission. And probably you've forgotten by now because I've been at this so long, but the local tribes are eager to rid the lake of the elusive Arapaima, an ancient monster that has long lived in Lake Makumaku. They told you a legend about an evil spirit that tears fishing nets and tackle that can smell regular hooks a mile away. Only the most courageous angler will be able to deal with this monster armed with a special hook made from the teeth of predatory fish. Catch payaras and biaras and use their teeth to create this hook. Now this I have been doing for some time. You had to catch 10, 9, well actually 10 trophy or unique biara and 5 unique payara. And that's what took so doggone long. I mean yes they are here but they are not easy to catch. You might be lucky to catch 1 unique a day or every other day. And it seems like they very rarely bite during cloudy events or rainy events so it was tough i mean i there were days i came in here and didn't catch one and i can't even remember when i started this i think it was like in october <laughs> but we're finally getting down there guys we have one trophy unique br left i found a good spot that i will show you shortly that's over there that the prs can be found also not just right here i did get them here but Lately, I haven't been getting as many of them. But anyway, we're coming in here raining, and that's not a good sign, because I might have to advance time yet again. It's just that there's a cooldown required. So I'm going to at least test it out and see if I can't get them. But this spot right here is good for the Biara. It's also good for a lot of other things. So if we don't catch any here... I never caught a BR over there. The whole time I was over on that side of things, the only thing I caught was silver croakers and the payara and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of piranha. <laughs> Getting the idea? Yeah, and a few uh, unique ripsaw catfish. I, I Believe it or not, I caught a few of them. So that wasn't too bad. I mean, at least I got my cash. But anyway, we're going to try here for a little bit, see if we can't get this last fella. Hopefully it won't take long. But if there's a lot of fish in between, I'm going to probably cut it out because you guys have seen me catch these other fish. But let's go ahead and get our gear ready here. I do have an Araku menu on here. And I do want to show you guys something here real fast. Let me go ahead and place that there. Let me show you something I found out. This was just a test, and it proved to be interestingly successful. The common minnow, which is not found in this location, is actually really, really good for the PR and the BR. So I'm going to try that. Maybe that might increase my odds a little bit. And it seems like the closer you get to that stick up right there, the better. But again, it is raining. I'm not sure if that's going to really affect things much. But I'm trying to remember what I have on there. Okay, I have an air minnow. We're going to go ahead and try float fishing. It's a little easier to get the Biara's float fishing than it is with lure fishing. The only thing is, I'm not so sure about this rain. It seems like when I caught the mo the majority of my unique fish, I caught them during sunny days. 
I did get one my last two though I did catch on a cloudy day and I tried to get a recording of it guys but something happened I don't know it's like the recording didn't come through but if they're gonna bite they usually do it right away the only other issue about this spot is that there are a lot of arapaima here but we are already getting something going after it a lot of prana too though yeah, prana are everywhere. The prana are going to bite on damn near every bait you put out there, and especially the live bait. Hooks doesn't seem to matter to them. They don't care. They got big mouths. All right, let's see here. We got something on number two. These are heavy duty rods, so even though it looks like it may be small, it still could be a Biara. But I think it's another darn. It's a trophy red belly piranha. It's not going to cut it, though, my friends. Not going to cut it. It looks like we got something chasing this again. Okay, now we got one on the first one, so we're going to go back and forth here. Ah, that's a PR. Tag nabbit. See what I mean? How hard it is to get these guys? I mean, you're dealing with all kinds of species here. That's part of the problem. You've got piranha biting your bait eating it constantly they don't get you much the funny thing is with all the piranha that I've caught I've not caught one unique yet not one I mean maybe it's just because I'm in the wrong area but I have not caught one single I've caught a lot of those too Ooh, we accomplished a mission, the trial mission. So we got some goodies for that. Trophy Jacunda. I still need to get a unique of that, too. Well, here's the reward for the other. A hunched runner, 19 feet, 4 aught. That's placed in my backpack. We're definitely getting a bite off that one now. Look at that guy run. Oh, he went under too. That's probably a piranha. Yep, red belly piranha. And he ate the last of my Aracu well, almost the last of my Aracu men. I'll see what I mean? They just they just eat your bait for just a few cash. The cash is doesn't even cover the cost of the bait. Just kind of frustrating. All right. Let's see what we got on here. Another piranha. Silver arowana. Yeah, you get a lot of silver arowana here. I've caught some uniques here as well, but now I'm out of current bait. Wouldn't you know it, but I do have something on here. And whatever it is, it's decent size. So let's see what we got here. Is it another arowana? Yep. Trophy silver arowana. So <laughs> I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm just not getting what I need. Yeah, I think what I might do, I might go ahead and move to that other spot but before I do I am going to show you that spot I found the PR at yeah this boat unfortunately is not very maneuverable I would love it if they put rod holders on some of those smaller boats 
But anyway, it's right over here. And the reason I'm getting kind of close is I kind of wanted you to get an idea where you need to throw your rod. Yeah, it's a little tough, but you got to kind of get it right over here in this area. Anywhere in this area seems to be really, really good. Now, I've caught quite a few things over here, too. But this is the channel. And see, there's you can get it right through here. There's like a little space here. And if you do that, I think... Well, no, I don't have it up anymore. If I had that recording, I could show you what I was using. But I actually caught them off of um, the minnow. <laughs> I actually caught it off the minnow. It's the first one I hadn't caught off the popper, which was really cool because I was thinking that was about the only way you can get them there for a while. We definitely have some big fish down there, but we're not... Actually, we could probably do this a little bit faster if we just jump there. And I think... Because we really don't need the boat. It's right here. You got to be going over to the village, by the way. And it's right over in this area. There's supposed, I mean, when I came over here before, I was getting quite a few Biara. Biara and the Piara, they do tend to hang around the lily pads. I guess that's where they hang out until something swims by but we are going to advance time we've only got a few seconds before the next cooldowns which is, that's what I was kind of to stalling for but we're gonna go ahead and fast forward this It is a cloudy day. I usually don't do quite as well on cloudy days. But the nice thing is that we can now use our rod pod. So we can increase our chances a little bit more. And I'm going to stick pretty much with the same baits. Now I'm out of Araku minnows. But anywhere around these lily pads would probably be good. I wish I'd put a marker the last time I caught one here. I didn't even think about it. That was probably stupid. But, yeah, the large minnows are also good. I don't have small minnows. But they are also good, too. I am out of bait for that. So that, I'm going to have to switch out with something. But shiners is good. Pretty much anything you go after PRs with... The BRs will also go for. They just seem like a smaller version of the Piara. <laughs> they have the fangs too. And then we're going to get out our float rod, which we don't have tackle. So I'm going to go to the shop. grab some more Iraku minnows. My god they went through that fast. And they usually do and they're expensive. Not cheap. See 2572 and when you're picking up fish that's worth like a hundred and ninety seven it's kind of discouraging. <laughs> you're like, uh why am I wasting bait on him? <laughs> Yeah, the only thing that concerns me is, again, we are not dealing with a sunny day here. It is cloudy, and there are a lot of peacock bass over here. That's the only thing. Piranha and peacock bass are going to be kind of a nuisance here. All right, we got another one here. I'm not sure. That... 
could be what we need. No. Nope. Ooh, it's a trophy red ad. Oh, he's a fat sucker. Look at him. You don't get the trophy red eye too much. We definitely have a bite on this one. We've got something on our float rod here, guys. There's something chasing that thing all over the place. Come on. And he quit. But we're getting a bite off of this one. So... And all at once. Yeah, we're getting a lot of piranha here, guys. A lot of piranha. A lot of the red-eyed piranha, too. It's kind of interesting. Mistaken. I was really honestly thinking that this fishing spot was on the side where the village is, but I think it's actually on the boat dock. See, there's some weeds over on this side of things, and I think this is where it's supposed to be. I'm sorry about that, but we're going to give this a try again over here. Yeah, I was taking you to the wrong spot. I am sorry. But we have to throw this straight out. I believe they're right in this area. That's why you need to put markers. I know markers cost, but I'll tell you they're a big help when you want to come back here and find something again. Especially if you don't know exactly where they are. At least gives you a general location. I'm going to try on the other side of those sticks. Yeah, there's a lot more stick-ups on this. That's how you kind of know. I kept thinking the whole time, it's like, this kind of looks right, but I'm not sure. I thought there was more logs. Well, there was. I can only get this cast out this far, so we're going to have to make do with that. Maybe not. But if we could end this now, it would be great. Got to make sure that they've got it, though. But this has to be a trophy or a unique. So, a regular one, all that's going to do is tell you that's where they are. It's not going to... Suckers are everywhere. Let's try. Can we get in there? Let's get on the other side of those logs. Okay, it actually worked too. I was pretty sure it was going to say I hit the ground, but. Yeah, yeah, you can see all those good cover spots right there. Plenty of them. The only thing is, it is cloudy. That's always an issue, because when I was doing this last time, it was a sunny day. So that could be a little bit problematic. Yeah, it looked like that was moving around a lot, but I hope it's not another piranha. It's a little, maybe if it's a piranha, it's a little big. If 
flat-whiskered catfish. Hmm. Now we're talking. Got some good activity here, but I think we're still getting piranha. Damn it. This might be a Biara. It is, but not a big enough one. Damn it. See, I told you they were here. It's just a matter of getting the right size. Wait a minute. I'm going to put this one down. Go to the map and put a marker on that. I didn't do that last time. Come on, switch. Couldn't grab the damn thing. Kept wanting me to board the deck on boat. <laughs> okay, this this got some size to it. Could be a catfish though, or a really large piranha. Yep, trophy red belly piranha. Well, we went through all the rods, and not one of them was what we needed. We got one biara. But we know now where we caught the sucker. He's right there. And that's where we're going to aim our gear. See what we got here. Yeah, you can usually tell if you got a BR right off the bat. They're real shiny. Real shiny silver. There's a Jacunda. Yeah, you can definitely see how difficult it is to do this. You're catching so many other species, especially these guys. That's what takes so long. You end up running out of bait. And the thing is, is they go for the same lures, everything. There's nothing that the prana do not go for that the PR don't go for. If there was a bait you could put on there to single them out, that'd be great, but there's not. Yeah, I was told by some of my viewers that apparently the developers caught a lot of flack on how hard this was. I guess somebody complained it wasn't hard enough, so they said, okay, fine, we'll make this really hard. And there it is. There he is, finally. We got him, guys. That's the guy. Yeah, I know I've got a fish, but I want to finally get, get a picture of this final son of a gun. There he is. Boy, he's been elusive. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. That is about time. We are going to keep him. And I guess... Well, there you go. Mission accomplished. Maku, Maku, fish tooth hook. It's hard to say. Great work. You've got the fish tooth hook and are now ready to hunt for the elusive Arapaima. Awesome. It's about stinking time.
Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, no. They stuck it in my home storage, the bastards. I'm sorry. I don't usually cuss, but yeah, that was a that was a bastard thing to do. And you watch. I'll probably pull in a big old PRI right now here. Just to show off. <laughs> I cannot believe that. What did I get here? It looks like I got some kind of a catfish. Yep. Ripsaw catfish. Well, guys, I'm going to have to actually go off screen again and go get my fish tooth hook and drop some stuff. I got to get more baits anyway because I don't know how long it's going to take to catch this fella. But there is something really going after this. I want to see what it is. Can't just let it slide here. You watch it be a unique PR. It's like when you don't need them, you get them plenty. No, I think it's a piranha. Well, he was really going for He's a little tiny fella. 65. See, that cost an Ericu minnow. Now, how wrong is that? <laughs> 